You're listening to Pet World Radio, and this is the Addictive Reef Keeping with Tyler Johnson. Stay tuned for live chats, expert guests, tips and tricks, product reviews, and many more topics. All right, guys, Tyler Johnson here. I figured I would shoot an update video on what's going on the 40 Breeder Reef. As you guys can see, after watching my 12 gallon long nano tank uh, that I pretty much purchased from Mr. Aqua, um, tanks installed on the system, I built a little stand for it. I've since removed my reef keeper from the hot tub since it's just keeping nine fish alive and uh, have set it up onto here because my next system will be the Neptune Apex. Um, I really like that one. It's pretty much plug and play. This is a bit more difficult for most people to set up. But other than that, guys, I got a lot of updates to come on this. So I'm going to hop up here. I'm going to show you guys what my plan is. And then I'll go through my wiring that I did right here. And uh, a little update on corals and fish and whatnot. So let's hop up there and check it out. All right, guys. So I'm up on a ladder. And this is pretty much the top of my tank my 40 breeders down below and I just installed the 12 gallon long from Mr. Aqua this is the ADA tank so it's sapphire glass it's rimless um, polished edges it looks really cool um, 36 inches long I believe it's nine and a half inches or nine and a half inches tall and like eight and three quarter wide so it's perfect tank to fit in this little spot here. I built this little stand for it, installed my Reef Keeper power strips, uh, a master uh, power switch control. I uh, labeled a few of them just depending on what I'm running at the moment. Then I added my Reef Keeper head unit right there. So all my wiring for the whole entire system is right here. I think it's awesome. It's perfect for when people babysit my tank. Everything's labeled. Um, you can pretty much control everything from right there. I can control everything from my phone. So it's set up better than the Pivot Power Genius. That's another video that I'm going to have to talk to you guys about. But uh, basically I took that unit back and I'll get into that later. So here's my plan guys. Obviously my bubble tip anemone down below is getting quite large. I needed to figure out a place to put them and since the system out in the garage is full of copper and the other one possibly still has marine velvet, which I know it doesn't, it's been two months, I just gotta keep the NIM on the same system. So my plan is, is to hook this tank up to my sump that's hooked up to the 40 and then basically I'll drain into a frag tank over here and this frag tank is going to be a 5.5 gallon and I'll kind of go over some plumbing real quick this is going to be a super hard build not quite sure if it's going to exactly work to my specifications but I'm going bean animal style so if you guys know what that means that is pretty much a full siphon that is created by having a ball valve so basically I'll have a drain right here and on the other side of this drain there'll be a 90 like this and it'll be basically 90 down so it'll be into a full siphon and then drain number two will be right here and it is an open drain so the water basically only rides the pipe and there's a huge hole in the center. Um, basically it creates virtually no bubbles, it's silent, and it's very very fast. Um, when drains drain normally there's a column of air in the center which if you think about it takes away space inside the pump or the pipe. So having a full siphon I'm able to use the flow that comes into this tank and utilize it in my frag tank. My frag tank is going to drain into my sump at the same rate that this tank's filling up. So it's going to be a tremendous amount of flow in there. I'll put all my frags in there. I'll put all my anemones inside here, keeping them safe. I'll even move my clowns up to here. 
I'll be lighting this with all par 38s, lighting this all with par 38s, and then back here, guys, where this bucket is, I built another stand, and this stand is going to utilize a 10 gallon auto top off reservoir with possibly a chamber in there with a do-it-yourself calcster. Not quite sure if I'm gonna do it, but if I do do it, I have a perfect idea on how to do it. Haven't seen it done before, and I think that the pump that I'm gonna use will last for a very long time on the way I'm gonna do this. So I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do that down the road. But those are my ideas. I'm pretty much waiting for some parts to show up in the mail. And I'll start drilling my holes and uh, hope that my plumbing works. Uh, the bottom, the top of the 5.5 uh, is going to be about right here, and it's about 10 inches. So hopefully, it'll work. These, this full siphon is going to be drilled into the bottom of the tank, and then inside the tank, I'll either have a 45, probably a little 45 here, and. Uh, It'll be providing tons and tons of flow. But uh, other than that, guys, that's what I got going on up here. I think it really turned out really clean. Um, I think it's going to look really cool, especially when the canopy's on. Once the canopy's on, it'll pretty much all be boxed in and really look good. Um, I'm going to box all this in, and then there'll be a big black canopy here. And uh, you just won't even see anything behind that tank. It's going to look really, really good. So, guys, I'll give you guys a little update on the inside of the tank. Um, I can go ahead and turn my, my lights on. Let me do that real quick. Well, guys, so this is the 40 Breeder Reef. I uh, waited for the lights to turn on so I can go ahead and talk about this real quick. Uh, everything's doing really good. I've lost a few turbo snails, maybe about 10 or so over the past two months. So my cleanup crew has gotten less, but the hair algae hasn't started taking off since my algae scrubber has started to take off growth wise. So pretty stoked on that. As you guys can see, I have ended up moving my yellow tang into here. Long story short, you guys know what's going on in the garage. So he's going to stay in here for a little while until I get the new system up and cycled. And then all of my other fish are going to a friend's house in a six foot tank. And possibly I might be purchasing a 150 gallon tank um, fairly soon. So um, I'll be putting all my fish in there. But other than that, guys, these corals are doing great. I got these from Andrew right here. Just a beauty. If you guys remember my last fragging video with Zoes, these are the ones we were fragging right there. So there's there's them on there. I don't know what these are, red skirts or something, but they're amazing. But they're doing really good. Not sure what these are, ninja stars or something. But, um, man, guys, everything's doing really delicious in here. Super stoked. It looks great. Well, as you guys can see, my red planet is just going nuts. It's uh, really starting to get thick. I've increased the flow. I got my return from my Mag 9. And then I got my Jabo WP25 just just ramming it all day long, and then it rests at night. But uh, really, just started to take off. I'm super excited to uh, try that formula from uh, Acro Power. I'm going to be trying that stuff off. I just kind of wanted to make some documents on it before and after the growth, so I'll be doing a video series on that. But as of right now, that's kind of where I'm leaving it. My Valida up at the top left, doing just phenomenal. Um, great polyp extension, beautiful colors, great growth. And then my $500 E-Flow on the right in the center is really starting in crust. And it looks like it's just about to start branching out and tabling out. So super excited on that guy. 
and I'm sure with this Acro Power product, these things are going to go insane. Went ahead and glued a Pink's bird nest right here on this uh, Monty cap here that the urchin was just chewing the hell out of a couple months ago. So this guy will look real good down the road. I got some video coverage of him. I'll make a little video of his growth and stuff like that. We'll see how well he does. There's the Nim that's getting moved up to the top tank. As you guys can see, he's, he's, not even, he's even bigger than this, guys. Especially when the flow slows down, it's even worse. But uh, he's demanding a lot more food. I, I, I gotta feed him, it seems like, almost every four or five days in order for him to be happy and not be stretching out like that. But um, I'm trying to stretch as much as I can once a week right now. But uh, once I move him up to that top tank, guys, I'm going to be propagating the hell out of him. And I'll feed him every three days and see how he handles that. And then hopefully I can start uh, trading him with other NIMS out there. So thanks for watching, guys. That's about all I got to say. Look forward to my new update. It's going to be on the uh, brand new Arctic T24-7. So this is the D120 right here. Um, today in the mail, the new one's coming. It's got a digital timer built in. So I'll have an update video for you on that, a little review on that light. If you guys haven't checked out the video of the Arctic SO26, which is what pretty much uh, replaced the D120 great spread. I did a video on that. I'll post that link down below. Check that unit out. That unit went on sale, I believe, for $150. And uh, I made that video just a few days before the sale, and now I think they're back at 172. So keep an eye on Ocean Revised website. I'll post that link down below and look for those sales. This company is really on it with Spectrum. I think it's top of the line Chinese fixture as far as you can get. Um, he has taken that out of the scenario. Now these are Bridge Lux 3 watt LEDs, really great LEDs and we're only pulling I believe just a little over 2 watts out of the bulbs so you get a lot of life out of them and great color. So look forward to that video. I can't wait until that shows up in the door. Other than that guys, check out Addictive Reef Keeping on Facebook. I'm Tyler Johnson. Hope you enjoyed this video and post a comment down below if you guys have any question and welcome all you new subscribers. Take care guys.